Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this warm toned summer makeup look. So if you're interested, just keep watching. As you can see, I've already primed my face, put on foundation, and done my eyebrows. Next thing I'm gonna do is just go in with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. It has so many shades, like just take a look at this light. Like, compared to my head, like look how big this is. Like look at all these shades and look how pretty they are. I'm gonna go in with the color Creamsicle. That's this color right here. And the brush I'm using is from the BH Cosmetics. I think it's like their rose gold collection. I love this fluffy brush. It's the number six brush. And I think it's a fluffy blending brush. I use this every single day for almost every single eyeshadow look and it just works so well. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this cream school shade to my crease and blend it upwards and out. your life away i'm gonna go in with this color right here and this is the color pooter it's a cute name and i'm now taking the morphe m514 brush and i'm just going to pick a little bit of this shade up and then i'm just going to work it into my crease and apply it the same way as before i'm then gonna actually go back in with my BH Cosmetics brush and get a little bit more of that cream school color and just add it and use it to blend these two shades together. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with the Morphe M330 brush. I'm gonna pick up the color right next to this. It's this color right here. And this is the shade Pukey. And I'm just gonna work this right into the crease. Now with this color, I'm actually going to start bringing it towards the inner corner. So the next color I'm going to use is actually this shade right here. This is called Rocks Anne. I'm going to use this Real Technique Tense. What was I trying to say? I'm going to use this Real Techniques Defining Crease Brush. Crease. Crease brush i cannot talk today and i'm gonna go in with that color roxanne and i'm just going to work it onto the outer corner so the next thing i'm going to be doing is cutting the crease this is the maybelline fit me concealer i'm just going to apply some on the back of my hand just a little dabble a little dabble do ya I'm going to take this small concealer brush this is also from the bh cosmetics rose gold brush collection i'm pretty sure that's what it is but if not i'll link it in the description below and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply some on this since i do have a little bit of a hooded eye i'm actually going to apply this a little bit like a little bit above my crease so i'm just gonna start from the inner corner this is the flirty shade it's a very pretty shimmery pink shade and i'm just gonna go ahead and pat this all over the inner corner and i want it really to pop so i'm gonna add a lot <laughs> Obviously, you can tell that where these two shades meet, it is not blended at all. I'm actually going to take this color right here. This is the color SBN. Don't know what that stands for, but it's the color SBN. And I'm just going to apply it right in the middle. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish out the rest of the makeup look before I finish doing the eyes. So now I'm going in with the same Maybelline Fit Me concealer that I used to cut the crease on my eyes. to use my 
Real Techniques sponge to blend this out. And if you love me, love me, but you never let me go. And the roof was on fire, you never let me know. Say you're sorry. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette to use the light shade to set underneath my eyes. So to contour today, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. This is also from the Rose Gold Beach Cosmetics Collection. Again, this is their number five. I believe that this is a blush, blush, blush brush. It fits like perfectly into the hollows of your cheek. So I really like to use it for contouring. So I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here. And then I'm just going to go ahead for a little bit. The Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. This is what it looks like. It's a really nice, cool toned bronzer. Apply a little bit. So after I bronze my face, I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of blush. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Medium Coral. Honestly, I love all of Maybelline's Fit Me products, their foundation, their concealer, their powders, everything. Apply a little bit to the apples of my cheeks. So now I'm actually going to finish off the eye look. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is the Silk Cream color. You know what, no, I changed my mind. Go in with the Creamsicle color right here. And then I'm gonna go back in with the Pukey color. So before I apply false lashes, I'm just going to tight line my waterline this is just a brown eyeliner and then i'm going to use the maybelline the colossal big shot mascara and if you love me love me but you never let me go when the roof is on fire you never let me know say you're sorry honey but you never really show me Next, I'm going to apply false lashes. Look at this, I just have these lashes sitting in here. I threw out the packaging accidentally. So, they're my favorite lashes and they don't have a name. Now that I've applied the false lashes and I have applied mascara to my lower lashes, I'm just gonna go back in with the palette one more time. I promise and I'm just gonna pick up this shimmery shade right here and I'm just going to use this to highlight the inner corner of my eye and like can you see the difference between highlighted not highlighted highlighted not highlighted so the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and apply lipstick. I'm going to line my lips with the, the Catrice Cosmetic Lip Foundation Pencil. I absolutely love this liner and I think it was like $3 on sale at Ulta, so pretty good price. And then I'm going to be using this Maybelline, ah, almost dropped it. This Maybelline Nude Thrill Bold Lipstick. And I love, love, love nude lipsticks. Like, I live for them. I wear them all the time. And then the last thing we're gonna do is go in with a highlighter. So today I'm using the BH Cosmetics this is Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale. And I missed you in the basement. And the last thing we're gonna do is go in with the MAC Prep and Prime uh, setting spray. I use it as a setting spray, I use it as a primer spray, I use it for everything. So this is the finished look. 
I think it came out amazing. I really like it. I'm digging my hair right now. I, I really like how warm toned it is. It's the perfect look for summer. You could definitely add like a winged liner to it and that'll make it a little bit more dramatic. Do whatever you wanna do to your face, not mine. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you like this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks.